data is a central element in any research process. Now, because we have more data available and more analytical tools to develop models to understand uh, those complex systems, it's possible to identify better decision support tools so that when we are ready to deploy the technologies to small scale farmers, we are with a better likelihood of achieving impact. At the moment, with the tools we have for handling big data, it's possible to overlay different uh, types of data. If we start with the microsystem, we are able to understand now much better the genomes. It's now possible to accelerate the selection of those genotypes for the future of uh, potato and sweet potato agri-food systems. For example, those genotypes that can have better resistance to heat, drought or salinity. Having a better selection of new varieties with increased resilience to climate change will help farmers to adapt better to those uh, future conditions. Agrobiodiversity conservation uh, utilization is another example of the potential of big data. SIP has the largest gene bank in terms of potato, sweet potato, and ambient root and tuber crops thousands, close to 20,000 types of accessions now possible to understand much better because of the power of big data, DNA fingerprinting, duplicate identity, identity verification, before it was extremely difficult to do. Now it's possible to relate the accessions to the characteristics and make that available to potential users, like in a library catalog, going and pick what they need for accelerated development of new varieties. Well, a crisis always has an opportunity. In this case, it has uh, generated a better understanding of strengths and weaknesses and information communication tools. It's important now, for example, to support farmers to have data transformed into information, digital extension, to be able to provide not only farmers, of course, our scientific partners, development partners with the information they need to help the farming communities that at this very moment are having a very difficult time facing the emergency situation, but they still, and they need to produce food for themselves and for the cities, for the markets. It is a confirmation of the need to move to open access to make our data widely available. At the moment, scientific information is needed more than ever before to make decisions to face this crisis that we are facing in the agri-food system. All the way from conserving the, the genetic diversity, developing new varieties faster, but also making decisions for crop management, agronomy, soil, landscape management, climate change adaptation, all of that will be supported by big data and the appropriate tools, which will come very soon with artificial intelligence uh, approaches.